All right, so today's video, we are back with some TikTok reacts. Starting off, we got Marbler. Always really good content, always really good videos. And Marbler says you can die in spawn in Overwatch too. So let's see what this means. It's possible to die in your own spawn room immediately after spawning. Normally, really? players inside of spawn rooms are given invincibility from all incoming damage, stuns, and debuffs. Is that a Roadhog hook? This is intended to prevent spawn killing, but you can still be spawn killed if it's done quickly enough. Really? The game only checks to see if a player is within a spawn room every 192 milliseconds, oh, okay. or about five times per I count second. that. All when a time. player spawns in, they aren't considered to be in the spawn room until the next check. This ah. leaves the player completely vulnerable for a few frames after respawning. This means players can be damaged in spawn, slept in spawn, hooked out of spawn, oh my, discorded in spawn, and so on. It's actually pretty easy to do with Diva Bomb, since you can time it to when the number three appears on the enemy's respawn timer. By the way, chat, I'm I guess not... spawn rooms aren't as safe as they used to be. <laughs> I'm not saying that. In if I get D.Va ult today in a good situation, there's a pretty good chance I'm going to the spawn doors. Uh, I, I, a pretty high chance I'm going to the spawn doors at three seconds and dropping that ult. Oh, man. I kind of want to see if I can do that now. And this is from Reza OW saying, Sigma, not feeling it. Let's see. Yeah, and he had to do me like... Hey, this man... Ch Hey, this man just... I don't want to do this no more. <laughs> hey, this man... Ch hey, this man just... I don't want to do this no more. That's, a, that's, that's just a tank right there. That's That right there is exactly the tank experience. That couldn't be any more perfect. How was your games today on tank? There you go. Just take that screenshot. You're good to go. All right, next up, we got Mixed Freight with three random Overwatch facts you might not know. Overwatch facts you might not know. Be the ball. Number one, for those of you that are new to Overwatch 2, you can hit and score a basketball. Yep. Whenever you load into the game mode control on either Samoa, Nepal, Elias, or Li Zhang, there are two basketballs in the spawn Same spot If you find too. the right angle and yep. use melee on most heroes, you can score and a little confetti explosion occurs. Wow. To those of you who already knew that, more recently, nope. if you score a basketball, some heroes have special voice signs for when they score a basket. Simple geometry. Smooth as soup. What'd you expect? Number two, okay. you can become a DDR master. When you load on the map Busan, specifically on downtown in the internet cafe side, there is a dance floor machine. You can individually move to each input and fail. But if you use a dance emote, you automatically become a dance floor master. Number oh. three, we're all soldiers now. Hey. Moving on to the map Blizzard World, in the distance, you can see an illusion of people walking around the park. Turns out all of those people are different colored 2D images of soldier floating around. Really? Yeah, I never knew that. Facts, but here are. That was pretty cool, actually. I, I didn't know that about the Soldier 76 one. I knew about the other two, but I didn't know about the Soldier 76 one. I've never really, like, looked that way, I guess. So that was cool to see. Next up, we have Panda Gaming Hub saying Roadhog just got reported. Wait, how old is this one? Crap, this is from early 2023. Okay. <laughs> oh, you can shoot through that. <laughs> I, was, I was gonna say, if they do that, you can shoot through that. <laughs> That, that is a possibility if you do that. Because actually, they, they had some issues on Dorado where you could, like, kill people with Hanzo before the game even starts, like, over the walls. Next up, we have Stay Civil. Widow out damage in a Bastion is crazy. I don't care. Honey bun out the microwave take here, but Widow at any rank below top 500 is absolutely useless. You either get expeditiously counter swapped even if you're 1 and 19 on the verge of using Niagara Falls as a slipping slide, or you get 5 picks in a fight that your team somehow still manages to lose. You can genuinely be whiffing every shot and they will still go Winston Sombra Tracer because for some reason when I play Widow, I've become an Avengers level threat, but when the enemy plays Widow, we will run a team comp of heroes that have the agility of a panda. I can genuinely be dove by 60% of the enemy roster and yet somehow my team finds a way to lose a 4v2 on point. I have a soldier Ryan diving me in for 15 seconds while my team is up a fucking tank. They can't manage to get a single pick. It's crazy I can have more damage than my teammate running soldier bastion 3 fourths of the game and triple the limbs of everyone on my team yet they still blame me for losing. Are you telling me I get sim tally dove by 5 people close quarters in an OT fight for the game? Sleep bat girl and her nail tech with some lullaby bullets and my team can't win the 4 on 3 up a healer? And then proceed to tell me it's my fault I've 
I've lost the game yay fucking right. I refuse to believe that over the course of 11 minutes my Ryan that's walked back from spawn 9 times and only managed to mitigate 8000 damage with a shield the size of North America has the right to blame me for the outcome of this game. Do you think they were mad? Uh, that's gonna tell us how they really feel about this game. I, I couldn't quite grasp it. Was, was it a... My reaction to this might be different if I haven't been getting rolled by Widows for the past two weeks since Widows become meta. I just want to point that out. We're going to watch this TikTok react. The reason why my reaction is what it is right now is because I've been getting rolled by Widows for the past three weeks. Even if you send the even if you send the house at him, it doesn't matter. Next up, we have Play of the James. I get Ryan was frozen, but both support else. I don't know what this means, but let's find out. What, what am I seeing here? Oh, wait, the tank getting a bunch of damage like that with all the ultimate? Oh, I'm just, sorry, I'm, I'm a tank player. I'm used to that. I saw that and I said, wait, what? You could have added Nano to that Reinhardt. You could have you could have had your Echo. I was just to point this out, by the way. You could have your Echo, copy Ana, get Nano, Nano the Reinhardt, have a Zeno and have a Juno out there, and that Rhine probably still would die. That Rhine would probably still die. I'm just telling you, I was, I've, I've seen some things with... With tank, this is why sometimes a tank player, you'll just hear a tank player in the back of the mic go, <laughs> not because they're a murloc, because that's just what happened to them. But like eight fights in a row. What, what, you said someone did the math? So they were taking 421 DPS. Yeah. I'm telling you, I'm not joking. There's a lot of damage in Overwatch, okay? All right, next up we have a uh, Posta Lava or, oh, Postal VA. <laughs> okay, that was, that good thing they capitalized it in their name. A couple of dashing rogues is what we have here. Let's see. Are you and Roadhog together? Do you ever see us apart? No. I mean, are you a couple? Yes, a couple of dashing rogues. Not sure what you're missing here. Honestly, now that the, that the name has VA in it, it makes a lot more sense, okay? I didn't know where this was going, but that makes sense because it's Postal VA, like Postal voice actor. Also, great job there. That was excellent. Seriously, that was, that was very well done. All right, next up, we have Wasted Gameplay. A lot of people would argue that's what their teammates are on the weekend, during weekend games. Uh, and, and they they say, why is it always during overtime? Let's find out. God, I'm getting the worst fucking lag. Are you serious? I mean, I mean, honestly, this could have been wasted gameplay. This could be what you're seeing. I don't know. That was awful. What just happened? What map were you on at a certain point there? Okay, next up we have Grace Overwatch, and it just says me when I try to sleep. How cool is that light in the background, by the way? I just want to point out, as I was listening to that, how cool is that light? I've never seen something like that. That's different. Uh, okay, also, I'm going to be real with y'all, chat. I don't think I've ever dreamed about um, Overwatch. Is that weird? Because I play so much Overwatch that I don't dream about it? People are like, oh, how often do you dream about Overwatch? I go, I don't think I've ever dreamed about it. I don't know, maybe because I play it all day long. <laughs> Next up, we have Drasto replying to someone. I don't know what it is, so we'll just see what it is. All right, here we go. Here is the rock clip. I mean, honestly, great play. I think the part that confuses me the most is how this happened. One second. Let, let's listen. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pause in a second. This part I've seen. This happens. Okay. How did this happen? That's the part I want to know. Because there is no way this part should happen right here. And that's the confusing part to me. Uh, huh? Next up, we have Atlas underscore AV. And this is a guide on cooldown management and usage. All right, this is this could be a good one. I, I talk about cooldown management a lot. Let's see. Moira throws her damage orb in before the fight has started to get some extra ult charge. Not wanting to feel left out, Ana uses her sleep cooldown on the enemy Rhyme. The amount of time left on Ana's cooldown compared to Moira's tells us that it is a much more important cooldown that should not be used to tickle the enemy team. 
Because we wasted sleep, the enemy Ryan is now free to pin our Ramatra. If we saved our sleep, we would be able to cancel the pin and save him. These longer cooldowns should ideally be used when they are traded for important enemy resources such as key cooldowns, ultimates, or securing eliminations. Shorter cooldowns like- I do need to pause for one second. I'm missing that sleep, by the way, chat. I just want y'all to know. Everything here is correct. I just want everybody here to know that that sleep on that Ryan is not happening. That or my sleep is going to be timed just enough to sleep them as they cancel the charge and my teammate goes off the map and then they just sit there slept and then a junk rat randomly wakes them up and then two shots the junk rat and then they blame me. Th but, but, but the, the idea here is correct on, on like understanding like your cooldowns. Like if, if you know they have something, it's better to save that cooldown rather than to spam it. But sometimes I will say it's just fun to use an ability sometimes. It's like Reinhardt's Fire Strikes, Soldier's Helix Rocket, and Moira's Orb come back so quickly that trading them from a little bit of old charge early I on agree. is often worthwhile. This also applies when proactively looking to get value from your abilities. Both of these teams have Reinhardt and Hanzo. One Hanzo uses his Storm Arrow to weaken the enemy Ryan's shield, but the other Hanzo is smarter. He uses his Storm Arrow to capitalize on the Ryan's counterpinning while the enemy Hanzo is on cooldown. Nah. By making a dent in Ryan's health bar instead of his shield, he gives his frontline a massive advantage. Solo ult that subscribe button. One thing I will say, though, okay, because I've seen this before, I don't think that's going to happen as much. I would actually prefer if you break the shield. I'm going to be real with you. I have so many games where, like, teammates refuse to shoot shield, and as a tank player, as a tank player specifically, I would prefer if you break the shield. Because if you don't break the shield, that counter pin won't matter after about a half of a second anyway. I get, like, the idea. Okay, the, 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 the concepts here are good, right, about cooldown management. I agree. But I think, like, the shield one's an interesting one because... One, you know that Ryan ain't countercharging. Two, why are both Ryan staring at each other in the middle of the Eichenwald Bridge? I, I know this. I'm just kidding, obviously. But number three, I, I prefer the shield breaking. The shield breaking will be better long term for your team than like if they just if you just have your Ryan or your Hanzo try to storm arrow or countercharge Ryan. But it's definitely informative on cooldown management for sure. Okay, so we have something coming up, but I'm really confused, chat. Can y'all see the the top you may like here? Or am I am I or can you see this on the top right? Am I do you do you see this one? What's going on here? I just saw that. I was like, oh, damn. What is... What is I missed I miss a patch or like a Torb skin? Like, what's... Anyway. Okay. All right. So this next one is from Blizzard Guides. Um, and it says, what in the world is this? And this is a clip from Reformed Ravi, which obviously we've had Ravi show us some tech before his Life Weaver. So let's see. Oh, I know this Take one, I think. Boing. Up. Up. Noom. Big slam! I mean, this shit's just criminal, isn't it? Okay, that's pretty sweet. I would try that and fall into the- Oh, there it is! Look it! That was pretty sweet, the interaction. So this must have to do with- Boing. If you time up, the pull up, before they fall under the map, and then it slingshots. Like, I mean, this shit's just criminal, isn't it? That was a great play. All right, it won't give me that again for the up next hit. What the- And for the last clip of this TikTok react, we have one from Honey Milk. Saying Juno's first Halloween on Earth. Let's go see. I must not panic. I am fine. <gasps> Boo. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> I must not panic. I am fine. <gasps> Boo. <laughs> My bad. That's great. See, what I, what I love about that is that, like, if you look at, like, Juno's writing and character, that fits exactly where they have Juno as, like, a character. Like, if you listen to the voice lines, if you listen to, like, a lot of the stuff, like, that was, that was really cool. That was funny. Um, and there you go. So that is uh, all of the TikTok reacts we have. If you like this video, make sure to hit the like button. Subscribe to all three YouTubes if you haven't. Subscribe to the YouTubes, though, seriously, because I know that, obviously, you know, that's just something we always remind people. Sub into the YouTubes so you can know when my videos are going live. Leave a comment. All that helps. Uh, we also, uh, if you want to submit your own TikTok to like, you know, or TikToks for us to react to, that is, uh, look in the description below. You see my Discord. That's how you do that. We also record these live on stream. You can see the Twitch chapel, the webcam. We also stream on YouTube. So stop by if you haven't. We have a lot of fun here. With that being said, I hope you all have an amazing day slash night.